It is a cool and breezy, what feels like 144 degrees here in Seminole, Florida. And we have got ourselves a fight here for the richest prize in Pride of Wrestling. Championship fight, Salazar defending against Ron Bass Jr. And things are officially off and running here. And we've seen Salazar stand tall against several great wrestlers in the state of Florida. But he has not come across a true SON of an SOB in the form of Ron Bass Jr. Proudly representing first class and the forgotten state going toe to toe with the man to beat at Pride of Wrestling. Salazar, oh, wait a minute now, collar and elbow, and look at that, the big strength from the big man. Big hoss, Ron Bass Jr. He can add uh, man of the people to his uh, monikers here. Mr. De La Muerta pulling no punches here, side headlock applied center of the ring. Shots from the challenger here, and big shoulder tackle! Nearly a pounce out of the ring! You, you see La Brava Escobar a little nervous at ringside there. The power, the power difference alone between these two men, nearly off the charts. Oh, and now perhaps uh, putting that power difference to the test here. Test of strength, no! Waist lock applied. And Ron Bass Jr. not leaving his feet. You know, you don't say it very often here at Pride of Wrestling, but it looks like the champ's got a bit of an uphill battle on his hands. Oh, blocked and huge shot from Ron Bass Jr. Stiff European uppercut. And a series of forearms. Wow. Nearly moved the ring with that last one. Outdoor Seminole crowd coming to life here. Salazar in vain attempting the boot and catching another clothesline for his trouble and a back elbow to boot. Irish whip in the corner. Big splash. Salazar nearly losing his lunch and wow, what a takedown there. The champ very wisely giving himself some breathing room outside of the ring. Gorgeous sunny day here in Florida. But uh, gorgeous or not, that seems to be, uh, the weather seems to be changing the world of Salazar de Muerta. And now these two slugging it out on the outside here. First class, no strangers to gold in the state of Florida and in this very company. Cheese, the Florida champion for a time. 
And now Ronnie Bass very wisely restarting the count and keeping the pressure high on the defending champion. Stiff shot to the midsection here. And laying the champ prone on the apron, second hardest part of the ring here. And now, all the humanity of Ron Bass Jr. coming down right in the sternum. You see the champ splatter to the outside there. And are we about to see the Ron Bass Jr. era begin here at Pride of Wrestling? Having his way with the champ right now. Oh, big strike to the side of the head. We've seen Salazar in some unbelievable tag matches here. We've seen him literally retire members of this roster in order to maintain his top spot. But again, Dealing with the likes of Ron Bass Jr. in first class is a whole different story, but Salazar taking the shortcut here, cutting him off at the pass, and a series of boots and big leg drop. And that stiff elbow completes the set here. And just like that, the momentum of this matchup has shifted the opposite direction. Salazar now, second rope. Look at the balance, wow! Stiff splash right across the spine of young Ron Bass Jr. And the champ showing why he has remained dominant here at Pride of Wrestling. 2022, in many people's opinions, was Salazar's year. And the question remains, will 2023 be a sequel to that? Referee Lee Canfield up to a four count now. Ron Bass not moving terribly much here. And now Salazar full head of steam through the ropes there. Picture perfect landing. All that momentum crashing right along the chest. And Ron Bass in that unforgiving grass. And now Salazar talking a little trash before throwing a fist or two. As I said on countless occasions here at Pride of Wrestling, the most dangerous element of Salazar is the fact that he may be as good as he thinks he is. But look at that, the toughness of Ron Bass Jr. Wow. Not holding anything back here, folks, as these two slugging it out in the Florida heat. Canfield again doing the 10 count reset from Salazar. Oh, almost sent to the ring post. But Ronnie Bass in the ring post instead. Knock a little uh, sense out of Ron Bass Jr. there. Hardest part of the ring, and he went face first. And Salazar now stalking his prey like a proud lion. Showing disrespect to his challenger. Surprising enough, Salazar sending him back in the ring. Looking to maybe finish this thing inside the squared circle. Oh, dropping that knee right on the shoulder. And Salazar, like a shark, might have found the uh, the target that he wants to point his aggression. However, Herford Lee Canfield trying to create some space here as Ron Bass struggles to get to a vertical stance. Ron Bass Jr. in the corner, and in comes Salazar, looking to stomp a mud hole here, perhaps. Three kicks, so stiff. Ron Bass Jr. still struggling to get back to his feet. It was not too long ago he was in the driver's seat, and now he is just taking a beating here outside the Seminole Rec Center, but look at this, fighting back the spirit of Ron Bass Jr. in the eye rake from Salazar. Just as Ron Bass Jr. was working on building up some momentum of his own, Salazar cuts him off at the pass. And again, showing that strength, clubbing blows across the back. Ah. 
Salazar. Oh, and now Salazar saying it's done now. And Salazar now ascending to the top rope. High risk district here. And now Ron Bass Jr. back to his feet. Desperate times calling for desperate measures here. And wait a minute, Salazar may be going for a ride here. Wow! Throwing the champion across the ring. And now both men down. Referee Lee Canfield here, beginning the 10 count. And La Brava making her voice heard at ringside here. Many people's opinions, La Brava, the glue holding controversial ink together. And you have to imagine the championship belt playing a large role in controversial ink being so so dangerous to this roster and all over the state of Florida. So much power with that team. And now, speaking of power, throw the textbook out the window. These two slugging it out in the center of the ring in the heat of Florida. And Salazar now clubbing blows. Look at the back fist there. And now up. No, wait, not quite. Big headbutt. It's hard to see uh, who got worse for wear there, but now on best. Junior Big Head of Steam and nearly moved the ring about a foot with that splash. First the Irish whip. Wow, what a slam. Cover, new champion, two. Just a two count. You have to imagine Salazar seeing that title reign slipping away. And in the moments like this, folks, it's not about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. And now, Salazar able to slink away. Poke to the eye, what a DDT! Now hook the leg! By hook or by crook, Salazar almost running away with it there. The combination eye poke into DDT. And now the champ taking the elbow pad off here and maybe looking for a kill shot here against Ron Bass Jr. Wind up and what a close line, are you kidding me? Wow! Nearly took off the champion's head and now maybe looking to take the champion's crown. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. La Brava now, cane in hand. Oh, low blow! Lee Canfield distracted. And what a shot with the title. No, 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 not like this, not like this. Oh. Another POW show in the books and another successful defense from Salazar of Controversial Inc. Could have been Ronnie Bass's afternoon, but with the help of La Brava, Controversial Inc. keeping the title at home. Well, for everybody here, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Pride of Wrestling. I'm Zach Romero. We'll see you here next time. Everything, shut up now!